have a GM car with a 3.8 engine, it can even apply to other engines, that's making this noise, first I'm going to start it and then we're going to rev it up for you and listen to the noise. So it sounds like there's metal banging around. Almost sounds like there's bottles in there. Now keep in mind this sound can sound different depending upon the stage of this problem. Let me show you what to look for. Now in order to find this problem we need to get to the end of the harmonic balancer which is up in here. Now if you're actually going to make the repair you'll have better access if you take the wheel and the inner fender guard out. But this is where we need to be working, up in here. Now what we're looking at here is the harmonic balancer on the end of the crankshaft. Now if you'll notice I've taken the belt off and that's so that I can spin this with my hand. It's still going to make the noise with the belt on, but I can't spin it with my hand. Now this bolt right here is actually attached right to the end of the crankshaft and it makes this whole thing spin. Now this part is bonded through this rubber to the outer part. So when this part, the middle turns, so should the outer part. But look what happens. So this crankshaft is really a damper and it has this rubber part here. Notice that it's bonded to this steel. It's supposed to be bonded to this, but it's not. It's broken. So that's where we're getting our noise. So really what we need is a new harmonic dampener or harmonic balancer and that should fix the problem. Now you are going to have to use a puller to pull this dampener off. But as you can see here now, this is our problem. So this outer ring and the inner part are supposed to be bonded together and they're not. Now what's making the noise? When we turn this over, you can see this counterbalance weight I hold it right, you can see it hitting the teeth in here. So we've got this counterbalance weight and that's what's happening. If this outer part were bonded to the inner part then it would move like this. But since the rubber seal is broken and we're moving like this, our counterbalance weight is doing that. Now let's look at the new one. Now here's the new one We've got the same counterbalance weight, but you can see it's, since they're bonded together, we don't get that clunky noise because the outer ring and the inner ring are bonded with this rubber dampener. Now they make a special puller for this, but you can do it with just a power steering puller because there'll be three bolt holes that go through here, and if you see they line up in here, there's three threaded portions that receive those. So basically you're going to need three of the right size bolts that will go in here and they actually thread into these holes on the inside. So when you screw this down it will pull it out. Now we're just reinstalled with the regular crank bolt as you push it back in. But it does come with a new key to hold it in place. <laughs> 